uh, speak of related to this. Um, first of all, as uh, I may have alluded to in a previous training, uh, it is as important to see ourselves doing muscle testing accurately as it is for us to do muscle testing accurately. In other words, like the Olympic uh, high diver, uh, we first visualize ourselves and we go into it with the intention and the knowledge that it is going to be the perfect muscle testing experience that we have, that we have that expectation of accuracy. And so how that relates to jet casual testing to this process is as you pick up this bar here, know that your muscle testing is going to be just right, it's going to be perfect, and that you can actually envision that as being that way as a mental discipline to creating that type of outcome. Okay, so as you do this jet casual testing, what is different now is I want you to know that your elbows are going to go into the right position. I want you to already have a knowledge that the speed of the pole is going to be the right speed of the pole, that your break point is going to be just right. Okay, all of these things are uh, things that you have now adequately learned from your 10 days of practicing that it's time for us, as I mentioned before, to, to take our focus off of them, okay? And so in this next process, what we're going to be doing is setting your baseline. And when we set your baseline, we want to do it in no more than six poles, and it will look something like this, okay? Hold on. So in doing the six poles, I'm going to set my baseline, and I would like for you to do it in a similar fashion when you set your baseline. But here I go with uh, the second part of the process after the warm-up, which is setting the baseline in no more than six pulls. And I'm going to pull to my baseline field. Yeah, okay, about 175. That felt pretty good. And then let me pull again, 172. 180, yeah, maybe 180 feels good. Let's try 180. So I move my red ring out there after about the second or third pull. Pull again, that yeah, was 183. Let me try it again. Yeah, 180 is feeling pretty good. Let's see, I think 180 is going to be my, t well, let's see, one last, yeah, 180, yes. That is my perfect baseline. And I'm making the decision that that is my perfect baseline. I'm not just saying it. I'm calling it into reality. I'm calling it as so, okay? And so now that I have my baseline set, the next step is for me to simply test the products. So when we test the products, we're going to do it a little bit differently than the way that we did it before. And it's going to be the same three products where when you do your one-minute practice, when you test, you're going to test the Skittles, chickpeas, and almonds in no particular order. But this time, we're not going to put them under the tongue. What we're going to do is simply hold the packet in the edge of your teeth like this and test them in that fashion because the, uh, the, the energy imprint, uh, if you will, of this product is very easy for the body to... Uh, to be affected by that. It doesn't just have to be under the tongue. Many of you, I'm sure, have seen various forms of kinesiology and muscle testing where a stimulus rather than under the tongue is used, whether it's up against the sternum or the thymus region or in the solar plexus or in the palm of the hand, whatever the case may be. So uh, this is an equally valid form of stimulus. And it's wonderful how in the, uh, the forward-moving aspects of science today, most notably quantum mechanics and quantum physics, they are now being able to scientifically demonstrate the truth that even though we may think that things are separate from us, that in fact we are connected. And what our body is doing, quite simply, is it's picking up on the energy of a product. And in this fashion, you can very quickly test the Skittles, chickpeas, and almonds. So to review, what you're going to do is warm up the muscles, 
set your baseline and test the products. It'll take about a minute and a half to get that done. And again, don't concern yourself with whether the product scores are correct, but rather see them as being correct no matter how it is that they play themselves out, okay? Um, the reason for that is is that uh, we don't have quite all of the stimuli uh, in place for you to get full accuracy. And uh, most notably, we do not have a defined mental stimulus. Like, for instance, a defined mental stimulus, if we were testing to find out what would be the best shirt to wear to the restaurant, uh, we would be making a uh, spoken statement something like this. It is in my highest good to be wearing the navy blue t-shirt at the restaurant tonight. And so since all we're doing is we're once again just testing the product on the spot, uh, the main thing is, again, for us to get that deep down muscle memory and to get it locked into our brain, this thing that we now know that we can do naturally and the body knows what to do. So I want you to go into each one of these little practice sessions with that mental conditioning. That's the important thing at this point, okay? And uh, this is uh, where we want to start having some fun with it. Again, JET, J-E-T, is an acronym for the joys of energy testing. And believe me, it does start getting fun once we get these fundamentals under our belt and we start using it for muscle testing uh, purposes on a variety of different applications. That's when it really starts to get fun. So in the meantime, enjoy the process. Remember, five times a day for a period of seven days, okay? And that will uh, smooth out your bicycle ride, and then you'll have a bicycle that you can ride for the rest of your